today. My name's Larry Berrigan. Right there in front of everybody. <laughs> and I'm the chairman of the Los Angeles Long Beach Harbor Labor Coalition. <laughs> and we are here today to commemorate the 40th anniversary of this special event, historical event. This is part of labor history here in the harbor area in the South Bay, in Southern California, if not in the whole United States. And we're proud of it. All this comes to you by labor, 100% labor. And also, we do have our backing from our elected officials here, and we thank them for that. They've always been with labor. Give a round of applause. Yeah. I want to introduce a very special person, a person who was here at the ground floor 40 years ago when this, all, this event started. He's a very well-known, well-respected labor leader in the, uh, California, if not the United States. Sisters and brothers, it's an honor to introduce the godfather of labor, Brother Ray Cordova, chairman of South County Labor. Thank you, Brother Larry. Honored and distinguished guests, sisters and brothers. Today we celebrate the 40th anniversary of the founding of this outstanding labor movement and the Labor Day Parade Barbecue and Rally. We are indeed fortunate to have to be situated in Los Angeles County where the LA County Board of Supervisors are totally supportive, as well as the LA City Council. And all of our sisters and brothers in the American Trade Labor Movement, they are all supportive, and this is a one day, if there are any differences in organized labor's feelings, they are all cast aside, and we march in unity as sisters and brothers, as we all should be. That's right, yeah. I want to thank Chairman Larry Baragan I want to thank Brother Louis Diaz from Teamsters Local 848. Uh, Louis chaired this event for 10 years. 40 years ago, Sister Louisa Gratz and I, uh, she's the president of ILW Local 26. We founded this parade. The first year we had about 700 participants and one high school band. Today we're over 10,000 with the strongest, largest Labor Day event in the, in the total, total United States of America. Yeah. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for coming. I would like to pass this microphone on to a dear sister of labor, former secretary of labor, one of our strongest supporters, and I've known Hilda since she was a child, practically. Thank you. <laughs> she was a child when I met her. She's still younger than I am. Sisters and brothers, the Honorable Hilda Solis. Thank you. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, brothers and sisters. You have, you have really set the stage nationally because this is the largest Labor Day Parade in the United States, right here in our very own Los Angeles County and San, San Pedro and Long Beach area. I want to thank our brothers and sisters for allowing us to be here. You allow us to be elected. Labor has been there on the forefront for all of the candidates that are here and many more to come. And I can rest assured and sleep well at night knowing that we're going to stay together and we're going to do more justice for our people, our working class people come 2020. We're going to clean the clock out of that gentleman that sits in the White House and we're going to bring it back to working class people. God bless all of you and God bless Labor Day and all the rights that unions have provided for us, our 40-day work week, our overtime pay, and all the things that we have we're privileged with health care and so much more. Thank you as a daughter of a Teamsters shop steward, mother who was a United Rubber Worker, I give praise to the labor movement because I wouldn't be standing here today. Thank you again. Sisters and brothers, we're indeed fortunate to have someone from Blue Orange County. There are seven congressional districts in Orange County and every single one of them is blue. One of our newest members of the House of Representatives, he, he is certainly one of our dear brothers. Brothers and sisters, the Honorable Gil Cisneros. Yeah. How's everybody doing today? Uh, it's great to be back in Wilmington, to be back in the South Bay. This is actually the area where I grew up, so this area means a lot to me. But, you know, it's great to be here with so many friends of labor. Uh, so, with so many, today is our day to celebrate the American worker and so much that you've done. My mom, my mother was a member of SEIU. My wife was an electrician, IBEW. So strong union ties in my family, and we want to make sure that we keep working in Congress to protect the American worker, protect, make sure that everybody has a livable wage, and make sure that everything that we need to do to protect the American workforce and the American worker is part of our job and we're doing that there in Congress. So I want to 
I want to thank you all for being out here today. It's my honor to be out here marching with you today. It's a day that I look forward to every year. So let's go out and have a great Labor Day, and let's go celebrate the American worker. Thanks yeah. for all that you do. Sisters and brothers, in the 44th Congressional District, we are indeed fortunate to have a member of the House of Representatives who is leading the charge in the fight on immigration. How dare this president lock these children up? Seven children have died on the border. Congresswoman Nanette Varigan, she is one of our, our leaders out there leading the fight to teach this guy Trump some manners. Sisters and brothers, please welcome the Honorable Nanette Varigan. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. It's great to be here with my brother, Luis Barragan. Um, how are you all doing today? Yeah. Happy Labor Day! Yeah. What an honor it is for me to come back every single year to my home where my father had a home and my brother was um, when he passed away when I was running for Congress. So to be back here um, in my home and to march with you and march with our unions who are fighting day in and day out to protect our workers' rights, to protect immigrant rights, um, to protect us making sure that we fight for a fair and livable wage, something that we've just passed in Congress, by the way, um, to increase the minimum wage, but that's not enough. We gotta keep fighting, and we know that right now, unions are under attack, and so is the right to collective bargaining. So we need to continue to stand strong and stand firm. Know that I stand with you, my brothers and sisters. Um, I come from a union family myself, and they're gonna have to get through me if they want to bust through any type of a union. Now, I may be petite, but I'm union strong. Yeah. Happy yeah. Labor Day. Thank you. I'd like to introduce the former chairperson in which I took the helm from, Brother Louis Diaz, Vice President of Teamsters, 848. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Brother Larry. Yeah. Outstanding yeah. job, and especially to have a press conference, how appropriate on the 40th anniversary. Not only am I uh, very proud to be a Teamster, I'm very proud to be a union member of the Teamsters as well as all the delegations that we have here. Uh, we are union strong, we are one voice, we are in unity today. Uh, I do want to give a shout out in, uh, uh, in memoriam of uh, Brother David Arian, ILW 13. He truly was one of the founders Amen. of this uh, uh, LA Long Beach Harbor Labor Coalition of Unions and uh, we're going to march in his honor today. Uh, ILW Strong and all of labor together. Uh, you know, uh, uh, br the, uh, Ray Cordova talked about the inception and how it started off with hundreds of participants and hundreds of community uh, folks out in the streets. Well, we are now have risen to the thousands and makes me very proud to lock arms with my sisters and brothers in labor, but also with our elected officials who have been 100% supportive of us in this endeavor. So we look forward uh, each and every year uh, to invite them and have them to be participants because we all uh, are, are one and we are strong together. Thank you, Brother Larry. Thank you, Brother Luke. I want to introduce uh, a member of one of the founding unions of ILW Local 13. He's been on the waterfront for over 40 years comes from a strong union family. He's now the president of the ILW Pensioners. Sisters and brothers, my honor to introduce you, Brother Greg, Greg Mitri, ILW Local 13. Greg. Thank you, Larry. Today is a historic day as we stand here and we look back on the years that the ILW has struggled, starting in 1934 with the deaths of Dickie Parker and John Newton right down the street here in Wilmington. And we're here to celebrate not only the ILW, but all of labor, the inclusive labor family that makes up all of the harbor area. And not just the ILW, but all of the other unions and all of the other workers that don't have a voice. That's what the ILW does. We speak for all of them. And we welcome everybody from every racial, ethnicity, every background. Harry Bridges, the founder of the ILW, one of his most famous sayings was, when it comes down to the very end and there's two workers left on the waterfront, one will be a white man and one will be a black man or a man of color. And now it will be a man or a woman of color because that's the way we've come and that's the way, that's what we represent here. But we want to thank all of you for coming here, especially all of our elected officials who come out here and celebrate. Today is Labor Day. Today is our day. Today is the day that we celebrate 
all of the things that we have fought for through the years. And as you know, labor has its ups and downs. And right now, we're going through some very, very difficult times. But we look ahead to 2020, we look ahead to the next election, and we know that labor is going to be in the forefront of the message that is going to be sent in 2020 that resonates across this country. Because we have had enough, we're not taking any more, and we are taking back the White House, and we're taking back Washington, D.C. God bless you all today. We're going to have a great march. We're going to end up banning park, and we're going to celebrate Labor Day the way the ILWU should. We're going to have a big party at Banning Park, and we thank you all for coming today. God bless you. Thank you. It's an honor to introduce another labor leader here in the Harbor area with the mighty ILWU Local 13. It's an honor to introduce to you the president, Ray Famoletti. Good morning, brothers and sisters, and everyone from the community. Today is truly about the work workers. We've come out here today like we have for 40 years with a Harbor Coalition of Unions, the ILWU, the Longshoremen, the Teamsters, the Building Trades, uh, everyone out here. And we want to send a message that workers are not going to be forgotten. We need to be included as we move forward. We need a just transition with new technologies and automation. Robots don't pay taxes. That's Robots right. uh, uh, don't shop in the local community. Right. So we need the just transition as we move forward with new technologies to ensure that working people have fair wages and working conditions. We're not happy with what's going on in Washington, D.C., and we want to make sure that labor's voice is heard in this next kids that have come out today. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Rick. All right, brothers and sisters, I want to thank everybody for turning out here for this press conference. This is just the beginning of today. Okay, we have part two is the parade. Part three is the picnic rally. We're going to have a great, great Super Bowl of Labor Monday. This is a Super Bowl of Labor. I want to thank everybody for being here today. On behalf of Los Angeles Long Beach Harbor Labor Coalition. Oh, we have uh, we, Congressman Lowenthal is here to say a few more words. Our local boy, Congressman Lowenthal. This is my 27th consecutive parade, and I'm proud to be with working men and women of the Fort area, the Harbor area, to stand up for America. We built America. We will continue to work for America, and it's time to come together and support working people. As Ray said, we're going through a change. Working people have to be at the table and be represented because working people pay taxes. Robots do not pay taxes. Yes. Thank you very much. Once again, happy Labor Day. And we'll have a sick and beautiful, wonderful day today celebrating our 40th anniversary of this event. Please, you're all welcome to have the parade and you're all welcome to once again picnic and rally with us at the park. Thank you very much and God bless. Thank <laughs> you.